Ron Gardenhire at uh, 62 years of age and uh, just about three years into his Detroit Tigers tenure. Announcing his retirement, uh, we weren't surprised that he was announcing the retirement. Perhaps the surprise is that it's effective immediately, effective as of today. But uh, citing the, the health reasons, the stress, needing to take care of himself is certainly in this world of dealing with a pandemic. Uh, that becomes paramount, uh, an understandable decision and one that sort of seemed to evolve as he spoke with Al Avila here uh, earlier this afternoon. Matt Shepard and Jack Morris uh, back with us as well, along with Dan Petrie and Craig Monroe. Peaches, I'll just start with you. Uh, your overall reaction to the news? Uh, very, very sad. Um, you know, I, I, I spent a lot of time, and this is just selfishly, that um, I respected Gardy from way back as a player pitching against him in a spring training game and I saw the success that he had in Minnesota and I always wanted to meet him and I finally got to meet him um, and, and and was able to spend time with him last year and and it's just very very sad because now I don't even have a chance <laughs> again this is selfishly to say goodbye to him and and uh, you know, uh, that, that's what bothers me the most. But I, I guess more than anything that, that hits me is the health aspect of this. Because, I, I mean, you know he loves the game. You know he loves his players, his coaches. He's very loyal. But the health thing scares me. And, and what is, there's more to this food poisoning. And it's, you know, with the shakes and everything. And again, Jack can probably, you know, um, talk more about it. But, but it really is kind of scary just hearing about um, I need to take care of myself I need to get right for my wife for my for my kids for my my grandbabies you know and, and that's what really is kind of sitting with me right now and guys for me I mean we've all played this game with the guy you know Jack and then we played this game and your whole life you have you've chosen the game right we chose the game that we love to play every single day but to hear Guardy choose himself, choose his family, uh, for me, is, it, it really touches my heart. Uh, yes, it will be sad to see him go. And another point is, when he mentioned that you missed the, you're never, you know, you're always going to be a part of the game. And yes, you'll miss the game, but you'll miss the camaraderie. You'll miss the teammates. You'll miss the coaching staff. You'll miss the relationships that you've built uh, through this great game. And so I know that he'll miss that part, but he's gonna have a chance to, to get himself healthy and also uh, be around his wife and his kids and his grandkids. Uh, and they, I'm sure they are looking forward to, um, to having him home. I just don't think he's enjoyed himself that much, fellows. I mean, as I said before the press conference, he's he's had that, you know, usually he's got a smile on his face. He's got a quick whip, you know, for us anytime we talk to him. I, I think he is, uh, he's been uh, almost overwhelmed uh, with the nervousness of what, what's going on and because of condition. I will say this, though, what I give him the most credit for even though it was a struggling and frustrating season a year ago for Tigers fans, I want you to think about this. Teams in Baltimore, teams in Cincinnati, they were fighting in the dugout. They were complaining in the clubhouse. It, a lot of it was, you know, outside the realm of baseball where they were getting on one another and people saw it as infighting. That never happened here. Ron Gardenhire and his staff were able to keep a team together that was going wayward so many different times during last season and hold them together and still pull for one another. And I, I give him so much credit for that. It's easy to try and stick together when everything's rosy, right? But what about when it's going the other way more often times than not? I give him a ton of credit and his staff too for staying so positive and understand the situation and then relaying that to his team, Jack. Yeah, and I have no doubt that Guardy and I are gonna remain friends. Uh, we shared lockers in uh, my greatest year in baseball in 1991 and uh, that's how far we go back and yeah I'm missing him I'm already missing him but I can see in his eyes how important this is to him and you know I remember something Sparky Anderson told our young Tiger team in the early 80s he said you know guys there's going to be a day where you're going to take the uniform off and you're going to hang it up and baseball will go on and it won't even miss you and I don't know if Everything Sparky said was true because uh, some things you just never quite get over. 
But the reality of what he was saying is true. Baseball will go on, and uh, Gardy will always be fondly remembered. And I think the way he handled it all year long this mm-hmm. year mm-hmm. and the way he just ended it today was total class. It's so Ron Gardenhire. And I'm proud of him, and I'm proud to call him a friend. Yeah, that's why I jumped in and I said, I want to thank you because you guys didn't get that opportunity, and I know there was only limited opportunity. But I I said it on behalf of everybody. How great has he treated us? We go in that, as as Dan mentioned, we go in that manager's office. It's some of the best storytelling, some of the best baseball discussion you could ever imagine. He tells us things on a regular basis of guys just sitting down, enjoying themselves and talking about the game we all love so much for the team we love so much. So that's what I'm going to miss most about Ron Gardenhire and that smile. Matt, Matt, you're right. Yeah, I, we didn't get that yeah. this year because of yeah. COVID. No, yeah. you're, you're right. Yeah, and, I, you know, and then there's that weird Zoom connection, too, so you don't have that intimacy, right, like we normally would inside, right. inside the manager's office. But, but you're right, Matt, that from a media perspective, and I don't say this with any hyperbole, he is one of the most enjoyable people that I've ever had the chance to work around or be around. Um, so we will certainly miss him mm-hmm. from that perspective. But like he said, yep. he's not going anywhere. He's going to take care of his health. He's going to take care of his wife, his kids, yeah. and his grandbabies. So uh, we wish him well on that, and we congratulate him on a heck of a career, not only as a player, but, of course, as a manager. And, you know, so often we want to judge these guys on their wins and losses. I think Ron Garden hires impact yep. on this organization right. goes well beyond that and right. certainly has helped prepare this team and send it on a right direction and a bright future as we look forward to the Tigers. So we also have a game yeah, to look that, forward that's to. That's well tonight. said, Mickey. Yeah. Thank you.